A year after a judge dismissed charges against rancher Clive and Bundy, two of his sons and another man, an appeal is coming now. Federal prosecutors announcing this week they are challenging a decision by a U.S. District Court judge to declare a mistrial and also dismiss the case against the four men related to the armed standoff near Bunkerville that happened back in 2014. Politics Now co-host Patrick Walker spoke with Bundy to find out if anything has changed in the five years since the standoff. This land here, this particular farm, we've had it ever since, uh, I think, about 1946. The vast valley surrounding the Virgin River sprawls for miles in every direction. Recent rains have left the range lush with vegetation. The rain has really made it stable. We can see a good spring coming. That means fat cows. <laughs> the Bundy Ranch sits right in the middle of the valley. That's what I try to produce, is a calf like that. Clive and Bundy is the family's patriarch and head of the cattle operation. We got our cattle that are in here are, are what we call wiener calves that have come off our cows. It's been nearly five years since the cows at this ranch were at the center of what would become an armed standoff between Bundy and his supporters who do not recognize federal jurisdiction over the hundreds of thousands of acres of land where his cattle graze and the federal agents who were sent to round up the livestock. Bundy had stopped paying grazing fees in 1993, more than two decades earlier. What I said is I don't need your services anymore. I don't need your management anymore. And I'm not going to pay your uh, fees anymore. BLM, go home! BLM, go home! BLM, the Bureau of Land Management home. abandoned the roundup amid rising tensions. Things once again came to a head in 2016 when Bundy flew to Oregon to support his sons Ryan and Ammon. They were part of the takeover of a wildlife refuge. Bundy was arrested when he landed in Portland on charges stemming from the 2014 standoff. After Bundy spent 700 days in jail, U.S. District Court Judge Gloria Navarro declared a mistrial, citing, quote, flagrant prosecutorial misconduct and dropped the charges. They never convicted me for nothing. They uh, dropped the charges. And now the uh, uh, environmental communities don't want to accept that. The federal government is appealing Judge Navarro's ruling to the Ninth Circuit Court in San Francisco. Bundy says he's not surprised. They're trying to force me into the picture here and, and get me to respond. As far as I'm concerned, it's not my problem. It's the judge's the problem. The versatility of our uh, habitat here it's unbelievable. It's Other than the pending appeal, Bundy says he has not heard from the federal government, even as he continues grazing his cattle on federal, public, and national monument land, over which he contends the U.S. government has no jurisdiction. Has anything changed about uh, what you do out here, how you work since before you went in? Not a thing. We still uh, are grazing cattle on uh, Clark County, Nevada land. And if he had it to do all over again, Bundy says he really wouldn't do anything differently during his ongoing feud with the federal government over the years. So if I was going to change anything, I'd say, hey, state of Nevada, back me up. I'm one of your citizens. I'm a producer. I'm a, uh, I, I think I'm worth protecting. Those who traveled to the Bundy Ranch in support of the Patriot Movement are no longer here. Son Ammon Bundy even distanced himself from some of those supporters who have closely aligned themselves with President Trump's views on immigration. Whether or not their help would ever be enlisted again if federal agents try to seize Bundy's cattle remains to be seen. The possibility is there because regardless of what happens in court, Bundy says he has no plans to change what he is doing in the future. Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. The federal government is expected to file its brief with the Ninth Circuit Court sometime next week, so we'll keep you posted on any developments.